Hi once again, this is Sepak Bit uh, Design tutorial number three. This continues from uh, tutorial number two. You must have noticed in tutorial number two we did have uh, just a bit wall and without access for mining. So this uh, tutorial will show you how to create a access ramp. <coughs> uh, we'll basically use the expand segment by bench height. Uh, same parameters, 65 degree on the better angles. The bench height will be 12 meters and I will start at 12 meters. So 1900 uh, RL. We also use a bench width of 5 meters. I will use the expand segment by bench width. Uh, the new one to create a ramp will be the pit design module. I'll show you that. I'll show you how to create a new ramp. Our ramp uh, 10 meter width for a single lane. And then we'll go up to 25 meter for a dual lane ramp. The grade will be 10 percent or 1 is to 10. Okay, now uh, we'll start setback 6.5 1. And then we'll just scroll to my working folder, go to setback tutorial, cockpit design, set as a default folder. So what I'll do is I'll bring in the ultimate bit string from a tutorial, a introduction tutorial. I, in order to do this, I just have to resave it as a bit design to tree. Okay, just uh, refresh the screen. I'll bring this uh, to three. Okay, to three out. I got this. I have to modify uh, the bottom string a little bit uh, to start the ramp. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go display points so it shows me where the points are. Go apply and then shows the points. So I just have to move one of the string. I want to start my ramp here. So I'll just move the point here. So that will start off my ramp. Okay, I'm new. So once I've finished with that, I'll uh, press escape and then escape from command. Uh, there's a command, I type BD, it's a bearing and distance. That's to measure the distance. So I'll just click there, click there. Give me a distance of 18 meters, but I want a ramp of uh, 14 meters. So I go back and then I move the ramp a little bit in. And then escape. I go BD again. It gives me 13, 14, not too bad. And that's what I want. <coughs> okay, um, the design, pit design or the ramp design module is up in here. I can click on pit design. And then I can click new ramp to give my parameters or I can uh, go on from here to define new ramp. But before I do that I have to define my angles as I done um, in the previous tutorials. Uh, my design angles is uh, 65 steel. So I apply that. So my design angle is 65. Uh, basically save that as well and then I go OK so define a new ramp the notes about the uh, ramp and some of the parameters in here you can read uh, in separate tutorials or in the help files so it asked me to pick the first point so I'll just pick this one and then second point I pick this one but uh, the ramp, in order to, for it to build this uh, ramp, you have to have uh, three, four points, uh, four lines. One, two, sorry, three lines. One, two, and three. So that the ramp can start. So I click the second point, and it gives me this uh, uh, to enter the parameters. Just type a name ramp, ramp string, just gives under it, whatever. And then I'm going clockwise. The ramp is going clockwise. That's all right. I want my ramp to be 14 meters. Ramp gradient is 10 meters. And then I want the gradient to be measured from the inside of the ramp. So I said, okay. 
define the BEM crossing characteristics as at crest and toe. BEM taper distance 20 meters sounds good. Switchback angle, we won't be going to switchback, so I'll, we'll talk about that later. So I just go apply and then I've got it. Now, the simple as that before, I just uh, push the ramp up using the expand segment by Ben's height. Click that, I go. Said select the segment to be expanded, so I select that. Said I want to go up 12 meters. Give it to me. And then it gives me the 12 meters. <laughs> That's the first part of the ramp. Um, and then I've got a six, a five meter bam. So I just go. Um, give me a bam. Gives me. I select that. It's five meters here. The others don't worry about it. Let's go apply. I don't like points, so I have to go renumber the segment to have it as a string. So ring number segment, I click on this point and it gives me five. Say apply. I already got that BAM. If you're not so you can just click on this uh, eye icon here and then just rotate and see what you've done. So I've created a bench. Now I want to create another 12 meters. So I go up it gives me 12 so go apply and I got 12 meters I'll just create my 6 meter bam go see so I'll just go expand segment by bam width sorry my 5 meters apply so now I've got a bam Then, then I can go and like create another one. Doesn't have to go another one. Let's go another twelve, and then just remember the strings. If not visible. At number ten, apply. Then you got a bit with a ramp. So save that. And just create a DTM to see what it looks like. Right. So that's your pit with a ramp, a uh, skinny ramp and very long one. That's it. Uh, in the next tutorial, will show you how to change the ramp parameters to do switchbacks. That's more advanced. And then change from a single lane to a dual lane. But this is basically a ramp, a uh, pit design with a ramp. Save that. And that's it. Thank you.